Hi Gemini, this is your weekly finance and career reading for 21st to the 27th of May 2019. And if this does not resonate with you, please check your moon rising or Venus. Okay, so let's see what is coming towards my Geminis. Why are the cards flipping so much? Last time a card flipped, it was the, like the Eight of Cups. I thought I'll take it if it comes back again. There you go. You have so many flippers. Okay, I think I'm going to take it. I don't need to even draw your card. Let's see what you have. Eight of Cups. I told you I saw Eight of Cups. Then comes the Eight of Swords. Okay, so you felt a bit stuck. Six of Cups. All right, all right. Zero, the fool, and temperance. What's the underlying energy? Ace of Swords. No wonder. Gemini, suddenly communication is opened up for, for you, I see. Suddenly a lot of communication regarding a lot of things. So, yeah, could be because Mercury is in Gemini right now. So no wonder you are communicating a lot. You feel more talkative, more... Uh, you, you could be working in communications, but whatever it is, I see you felt a bit stuck. You felt a bit stuck. You didn't know. You were not able to see the entire roadmap ahead of you when it came to your finances. And sometimes you did think about your past. You did brood a bit. It's Yeah, it's a happy card. It talks about, you know, nostalgia, thinking of the past. But here I feel... You kind of brooded. You kind of brooded, thinking of the past, thinking of the things that you did and where you felt stuck. And it was more about um, trying to get back those. Or you tried connecting with some old connects. For some Geminis, it could be that you tried connecting with some old connects, but... For most, I feel it was that nostalgia that kept stepping in or coming in your mind, you know. It was like uh, thinking of the days gone by, thinking of, uh, you know, of your past, how, you know, how happy you were in school, how happy you were in college, or how excited you were when you started your work or your career journey. So that kind of feeling. Or it could be some old people from your old connects have suddenly popped up in your life, which could lead to a bit of stress because there could be people whom you really didn't want to connect at this point of time, but, you know, they're just here. What I see your energy is that you want victory in whatever you're doing. You want a tangible result. You want victory. You want to achieve whatever you're set out to or whatever you're focusing on and you are ready to have a fresh start. You are ready to start fresh with a new energy, complete new energy, not thinking of the past, not thinking of how things, though sometimes you go back to that, but that's a typical Gemini energy. You can, you think a lot, right? So you, you are the twins. So your mind and your heart pulls you into different directions, which is very natural. So here you are, ready for a new journey. And there you are, again, sometimes thinking of the old times. So somehow I feel it's like two different sets. And look at this. You're trying to balance. You're trying to reach a balance between your mind and your heart. Okay, so temperance is here. Temperance is a Sagittarian energy. It's all about balance. It's all about the right mix of your emotions and your practicality. So here you are with your emotions where you feel stuck, you know, and here you are with that new energy that now I need to go forward because I want my Ace of Swords. I need my victory now. I need to be known. I need to be famous. I'm working towards it. I'm communicating a lot. And here is temperance, which is helping you to balance that even if you feel a bit down at times, it's like you talking, you pepping yourself up. Or if you're feeling too elated with the past, then again, your practical self takes over and says, okay, past is gone. Stop being happy about it. Now move forward. 
Okay, so it's that kind of energy. But it is, whatever it is, it is a brand new beginning for you. It's a fresh new start for you. It's a new you. All I can say is it's a new you, Gemini, this week. The old anxieties, negativities, I see gradually wearing off. And they were because of your past decisions, past work, past business, past job, it's past career choices, past education, whatever it was. Sometimes you do think about them a lot. They keep coming back, but you push them away as a fool. You're like, okay, I'm, I'm now on a new, new path, new journey. Why am I thinking of, why am I carrying the baggages of the past? And temperance is helping you to heal. It's helping you to balance. So you are kind of trying to reach that balance inside your head between your practical and your emotional self. That is what I feel because what, you're, what you want is victory. What you want is to people or uh, to see you as somebody who is capable of victory, who is capable of delivering, who is capable of achieving something in life. That is what is important. And for most Geminis, I'm getting this word communication over and over. You know, it's it's more about one card popped up. Yes, pray. So it's like temperance. This is a temperance energy and, uh, you know, in guidance. So you do need to pray towards what you want. You know, be focused on what you want because you want victory. So you are the fools. So just keep praying and keep charging forward, you know. And heaven is watching over you. Beautiful. Look at this. So you have divine help, Gemini. You do have divine help. That your time has come now. Because this is your new solar year. Okay? So your new solar year has started. So just pray. Pray for you. You are the fool now. So pray that the road is clear. Everything good happens with you. And remember everything. What, whatever will happen will happen for your good. Because heaven is watching over you. You know, things are going to move in your favor. Okay, I'm going to pull an oracle advice, uh, your life path advice, and see if there is any particular thing that you need to focus on. But for most Geminis, it's like I'm getting this word communication, books, publication. Could be some of you could be working with publication or publication house or planning to public, you know, uh, to launch a new book, book writing yeah it's all about communication you're communicating a lot even in your job front maybe you're communicating or you are working with something to do with communications um, because ace of swords ace of swords is again it's all about victorious communications you know so it is suddenly you feel your communications are more meaningful they make more sense to people you're talking more sense. You know? You're talking more sense. It's not about movement. It's more about communication. So some of you could be a public speaker. You know, some of you could be a public speaker. Could be somebody who speaks out, mentor. You could be taking in a mentor or you could be the mentor for somebody. But I feel it's more of a mentor energy. You like... Either your, your mentors are helping you or you got a new mentor. As I said, six of cups. So somebody from your past who is like mentoring you these days or uh, you are a mentor for somebody. You are a mentor. And you could be showing people some light, some guidance forward. Okay, so let's see Geminis. You're on the right path. Yeah, so very nice. See? It's like you keep praying. Heaven is watching over you because you are on the right path. So universe will not let you astray. Okay? That feeling, that, that stuck feeling that you had in the last couple of months is gone. Because whatever you are doing, as a fool, you are in a new journey. And that is exactly the journey you should be. You are on the right path. Keep doing what you're doing. Because you have divine guidance. There is a divine help. The divine is watching over you. Okay? So you don't need to worry. Just embark your journey because your ace of cups is not, ace of swords is not very far. 
it's it's there it's there for you all right gemini so that's all i have for you now so please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and have a great week and i'll see you later bye